In the fall of 1956, Hungary rose up against the Soviet communists alone without America's help. 65 years later, the nation is fighting against the European Union alone and again under Biden without America's help. In tonight's in-depth report, Church Militant's Martina Moiski explores Hungary's fight, faith, and endurance. Today, we remember the day when we asked ourselves not whether God was with us, but whether we were with God. With these words, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban marked the 65th anniversary of the 1956 uprising. For 12 bloody days, Hungary, a country the size of Indiana, took on the Soviet Goliath. This we swear, we will no longer be slaves, ordinary Hungarians chanted in defiance of the communists. Russia, go home. Soviet military might bore down on the outnumbered, ill-equipped patriots crushing them, even as they desperately radioed the world for help. Please help. Please help. SOS. God bless you and us. Thousands of Hungarians were killed and wounded. Some were imprisoned and executed, and nearly a quarter million fled the country. Orban put the loss in perspective. We were the ones who delivered the first blow to world communism in 56, and we were the ones who knocked the first brick out of the Berlin Wall, and we are still standing our ground. Now Brussels is bearing down on Hungary, foisting its leftism onto the nation by pushing the giant LGBT lobby into schools. But again, Hungary is resisting the invasion. It is time for Brussels to understand that we were more than a match for even the communists. Hungary will be the first country in Europe in which we stop aggressive LGBTQ propaganda at the school gates. Justice Minister Judith Varga summed up the spirit of the freedom fighters in a recent tweet. We said no to the Soviet empire and we say no to the imperial ambitions of Brussels. Orban, a fearless defender of Christianity in the midst of the new pagan Europe, said the aim of the EU elites is, quote, to take Hungary from the hands of Mary and place it at the feet of Brussels. More faithful around the world are opening their eyes to the reality of his words. Martina Moiski, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. Great, great story. In 1957, on the one-year anniversary of the Hungarian uprising, then-Senator John F. Kennedy spoke of the bravery, bravery of the rebels, saying, quote, to give up their chains, intellectuals gave up their studies, shopkeepers their livelihoods, mothers their homes, and even when they saw the odds were hopeless, they did not feel theirs to be a lost cause. God bless them for that.